Capitol today, high-ranking officials of D.C. government faced a pummeling from House Republicans over crime in D.C. The hearing of the House Oversight Committee looked at not only increasing crime, but local laws that the GOP says is making the problem worse. And our Tom Fitzgerald joins us now live from the Hill. And Fitz, uh, by looking at some of this video, it was a fiery one today. Yeah, it sure was. You know, Congress been putting increasing pressure on D.C. government to do something about violent crime, especially after that stabbing of a Senate staffer a few days ago. Now, House Republicans today calling this House Oversight Committee looking into this issue with a panel of D.C. officials. And James Comer, the Republican chairman of this committee, said that it is, with his words, radical left-wing policies that have now led to a crime crisis in the nation's capital. Well, D.C. Council Chairman Phil Mendelson and denied that says there is no crime crisis. However, the head of the police union disagreed. This is not only is there a crisis, but he says it's getting worse. With regard to crime, yes, there is considerable concern. But while perception is important, the reality is less concerning. Let me be clear. People should feel safe. And it is a problem that many residents of the district don't. Public safety, crime and law enforcement more specifically, how numerous actions by the D.C. Council to include their rhetoric has resulted in a mass exodus of sworn law enforcement officers and an exponential increase in violent crime. And the political battle lines were pretty clear on this today. The Congressional Black Hawk has held a briefing blasting this hearing altogether and say that Republicans instead should be moving on D.C. statehood. However, Republicans pushed back on that and said, look, Crime in the nation's capital is a national problem because so many people from around the country here visit this area and they say that it is the weak on crime policies that they describe on the D.C. Council, which is making the problem worse. Mr. Chairman, it's clear that far left policies driven by progressive D.C. Council members are having a deteriorating effect on education standards, rising crime and increased financial instability in our nation's capital. This hearing called to malign the people of D.C. and their leaders for criminal violence that our colleagues will do nothing to stop should instead be a hearing to examine and move statehood for the people of Washington, D.C. In fact, House Republicans are just getting started on looking at D.C. local laws. Up next, 2022 police and justice reform bill that Republicans want to get rid of. Live on the Hill tonight. We'll send it back to you.